Hi, I'm TJ, a scientist at Corning, and today we're going to talk about viscosity. When you think about viscosity, you probably think about the motor oil for your car, but viscosity matters for other materials as well, particularly glass. In today's demonstration, we're going to look at how temperature and composition impact the viscosity of a glass. We've melted two glasses at the same temperature, but they have different viscosities because of the different chemical compositions. The glass on the left is a typical window glass called soda lime glass, which we consider a low viscosity glass. You can see it pours out of the crucible very easily, while the glass on the right, which is a higher viscosity glass designed for special applications, is coming out of the crucible at a much slower rate. This demonstration is a good visualization of how a high viscosity melt flows slowly, while a low viscosity melt flows quickly. The higher the viscosity of the melt, the less it will flow. You might be wondering, how can we decrease the viscosity of the specialty glass on the right so it will flow out of the crucible faster? So let's look at temperature. Here, we've melted the glasses at different temperatures to achieve the same viscosity. The specialty glass on the right was melted at 150 degrees C higher temperature than the soda lime glass on the left. When we increase the temperature of the specialty glass, we decrease the viscosity of the glass, showing the inverse relationship between temperature and viscosity. So why is the viscosity of glass important? Well, for a low viscosity glass like soda lime, it's designed to be manufactured in very large quantities and very, very cheaply. So this is fine for an application like windows, where the exact properties of the glass don't matter as much and cost is everything. But at Corning, we design glasses that are actually have very specific properties to help our customers. In the example today, we designed a glass that had very high viscosity to help resist dimensional changes during our customers' manufacturing processes. This allows them to make very high resolution displays and allows them to keep up with the ever-changing world of electronics.